Standby is probably one of the best new features of iOS 17. And if you haven't used it yet, or are just simply unaware that this feature actually exists, this video will definitely help you learn everything that you need to know about Apple's standby mode. Standby can be thought of as kind of a smart display for your iPhone that offers fast access to different screens of glanceable information that can be viewed at a distance when your device is maybe charging in the kitchen or on your desk or even on your nightstand. If you charge your iPhone at night, Standby adapts to low light and takes on a red tone. This is night mode. Standby mode is also available on all iPhone models that support iOS 17, but the ability to use standby modes always on feature is limited to iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro models. Now to activate standby, just simply lock your iPhone and then charge your iPhone either via a lightning cable or USB-C cable, or just wirelessly if you have a Qi or MagSafe charger. I like to use my MagSafe charging dock for a cleaner experience. Then you're just gonna wanna rotate your phone horizontally so that it's placed on its side this will automatically kick on standby mode. Now standby is on by default, but if for some reason it's not working or you wanna turn it off, you can go into settings, standby, and then toggle this feature on as well as adjust other settings in the standby mode feature. Standby has three customizable screens that can be accessed by swiping horizontally. The first screen displays interactive widgets. The second will showcase individual photos from your photo library. And the third is a large clock. With the widgets, you can press and hold or add new widgets, as well as toggle on or off smart rotate and widget suggestions. You can even create widget stacks too. If you long press on the photo screen, you can actually swipe through different categories to choose from like nature, pets, cities, and people. You can also add specific albums to be displayed using the plus icon in the upper left corner. Lastly, the clock can be customized for various themes and styles, and you can do all of that again by long pressing and then swiping around to figure out which custom look that you want, and you can even change the color of certain clocks to match your aesthetic. Now, as mentioned earlier, in the settings app, there are other settings that you can adjust for standby, like when to turn the display off, toggling on night mode, and motion to wake. There's also the ability to turn on notifications when in standby, as well as show preview on tap only for notifications. And that's really it. For more information about standby and some troubleshooting tips, just in case you're not getting it to work properly, be sure to visit the guide down in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more videos from us in the future. This has been Daniel with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.